Hey guys, welcome back to another installation of Precision Finish Painting TV. Today I'm going to share with you my top 10 tools to use when painting any room in your house. Um, this is kind of my basic kit that I take along with me on any interior job. So by the end of this video you'll know the tools you need and why you need them. So please continue watching. All right, guys, this is my basic tool kit. Um, we're going to start off here with a five in one. Um, very important, very versatile tool. Um, many uses. I use them to open up cans. Um, then the end of this is actually weighted. You can use this as a hammer, a scraper. Um, this little indention here is actually used to clean out rollers so you can pull the paint out. Um, great tool to have in your arsenal. And also, along with it, is a putty knife. I like a flexible putty knife. You can get away with not having a putty knife and just using your 5-in-1 um, for all the same stuff. But I really like a flexible putty knife. Um, comes in handy when filling nail holes and tacking your tape down. Um, and we also have sanding sponges here or just a simple hand sander. Very important when doing your prep work. Um, these sponges are, are very handy. Um, they're cheap and they come in different grits. So when you're filling nail holes and sanding them down and then priming them in your surface prep, um, very important to have. We also have a caulking gun here. <clears throat> I really like these yellow no-drip caulking guns. Um, super easy to use, um, very ergonomic in your hands. Um, great tool to have. This is a hand masker and this is arguably the most important and valuable tool any painter can have. Um, they're pricey, but they are, they're very handy. Um, you can put whatever size of tape you'd like on here. This plastic, which actually um, we use to mask off windows, so you pull a sheet off and you can mask a window. And what you do is just pull the excess off to whatever length you need. They come in a bunch of different sizes. Um, you could also replace this plastic with paper when you're masking your baseboards or um, anything that needs taped off or masked off during your project. And then also drop cloths. You can use whatever you have available, blankets, towels, whatever, but these drop cloths are really handy, um, fairly affordable, and they're a great way to help protect your flooring when you're painting your room. And now on to our actual painting supplies. This is how I set up my cut bucket. So you can see inside here, I've actually got some paint for a project we're working on. Um, but you need a bucket. I prefer a bigger two gallon bucket with a one gallon grid. Um, keep your brush in here. This is a three inch Purdy Pro Extra. Great cut in brush. I'd like to see a video on all the brushes I recommend for painters to have. Go ahead and look for the link in the description below and you can check that out. And next tool is a mini roller. This is a four inch mini roller. Um, really important to have when doing your cut ins to blend your brush strokes into the texture that you used when rolling the wall. And as far as actually rolling your walls, here we have a nine inch roller. I typically use an 18 inch roller when doing interiors just because you can cover so much more ground. But these nine inch rollers are really good. I would definitely recommend buying a heavy duty roller and frame. Um, this one is from Wooster. Great brand, great product. Um, definitely need it for painting a room. And the tool we use to make that roller more efficient and easier on our, on our bodies is an extension pole. Um, they come in a bunch of different sizes. This one is like a three to six and it's um, really handy to have when doing interior, especially in small spaces like bathrooms. Um, this one's from Purdy. Uh, I really like it because it locks into your roller frame and you can make it whatever size you'd like. Some extension poles have holes drilled so you're limited on um, the length that you can make your pole. But this one is super handy because you can make it any length you want. You just screw it right into your roller frame. Lock it in and you're ready to go. All right, guys, these are my top 10 tools you need to paint any room in your house. Um, it's a very good starting point for your next painting project. And come in here, take a look at the list. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that if you'd like, then you'll have it. Um, so you know what you need to shop for. 
post it on Instagram or Facebook, tag me in it, and I'll be sure to give you a shout out. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, if you found uh, value in this video, go ahead and like it. Please subscribe to our channel. It's free. Can't get any better than that. So good luck on your next painting project. Thank you so much for watching. Check us out on social media. If you'd like to see how I use these tools in my actual painting business, we're at Precision Finish Painting on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.